Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hey, John. Welcome everybody to a random moment with Pastor David Unfiltered. And as we've been changing this up a little bit, we're focusing more on marriage of the family as we prepare, as we prepare for you to take us through Ephesians uh, chapter five, verse twenty-two here in a few weeks. Yep. So it's coming up, and and so on Tuesdays we like to tease out a little bit of what we want to speak a little bit more on Thursdays. And today, Pastor, I wanted to talk about the famous scripture, "Wives submit to your husband." Uh, and I mean, we can just get up and walk away now, right? Might as well. Might as let's well. Just, <laughs> let's just let's just stop talking, shall we? We could just drop the mic, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and just say, wives submit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we joke about this. And uh, because there is this, almost this misrepresentation of what that means. Oh, there's a definite misrepresentation. And, uh, and so a lot of times, right, Pastor, a lot of times, see, it's here. Mm -hmm. You have to submit to me. It's the only scripture some husbands know. <laughs> <laughs> so when we look at that in the context of what Paul is saying here, how is it that we, that there's a, the, this way of misinterpreting the scripture. Well, you know, I think sometimes part of the problem we can have is we we don't take the, the book in context, you know. So the Apostle Paul is writing an epistle to the Ephesians, which is the book we're looking at. And in it, he begins to speak concerning the walk of the believer. So the first three chapters that he gives, he shows us our position in Christ and the blessings we have and things of that nature does that for three chapters. By the fourth chapter, he says, now we're to walk worthy or appropriately, uh, you know, as it pertains to the gospel. Seeing this is who you are in Christ, this is how you live in Christ, right? So he begins to share. So he begins to share some of the things related to the, the way that we live and the things that we should not do, the things that we should do, and all of that's found in chapter four into chapter five. By the time we get into uh, the uh, later verses of chapter 5, he begins to speak about order in the church. How does this walking worthy, how does it actually, uh, how is it lived out in the body of Christ? And he begins to, to say, well, you, you submit to one another in love. So there's a mutual submission amongst the brotherhood and sisterhood within the body of Christ, all of it intending to keep order and um, make it possible for the church that is made up of many members to be able to live in an orderly fashion to perform the tasks that the church is intended to perform. And so if there's not a, a heart of mutual submission in the body of Christ, then the church is going to be dysfunctional. So after speaking about submitting to one another, he begins to talk about the particulars of a, of a family. So he says to the wives, submit to the husband. And, um, but, but he moves on to say to the husbands, you know, you're to serve and, and minister to and love and sacrifice and all of that for the wife. And then, then the sons and, and daughters will come into that order. And then ultimately those who are, are slaves during that time who live within the household. So he's speaking concerning the submission that we all have one to another and how that works. And so I believe that what happened in, in our day, and I, I also consider this to be probably what had happened from the beginning, is that because of the difficulty that the, uh, the Christian wives were having in the society that they lived in, and when you take into consideration that um, Romans considered their wives like their, you know, their, their children. They had ownership of the wife. They had the right to put her to death if they wanted to, the husbands did. And the Greeks looked at the wives as kind of like um, the ones that they had their, their legal children with, and then they had their, their relationships outside of marriage for their pleasure, you know. And so the Jews, for a woman to um, come to faith in Messiah, would be really a, a, one of the most difficult things she could have done because uh, the husband in the Jewish home would have uh, wanted to divorce her. So Paul is speaking, saying, look at under the difficult conditions that you wives have, be aware of the order that God has given into the home so that the home might be able to function properly. And so it's not just a matter of, of, of a woman becomes some kind of doormat. We already know that. 
is that in order for a home to function properly, there needs to be a place of authority. Now, Jesus Christ is head of the man, but he said, Paul said, but man is the head of the woman in the sense of the order of authority within the house. And so uh, a wife who submits to her husband as unto the Lord is bringing honor to the Lord, but that husband should be washing his wife with the water of the word and acting as the godly man that he is intended to be. And so it all can and will work out when you have the proper order. And that's what we want to take a look at uh, as the Marriage and Family Series will start uh, down the road is a teaser uh, for Thursday because I want to take a look at what the word submit and, and how that works. And, and I think a lot of days today, a lot of times today, people think that means to you must be under me. But as you just explained, it's part of the proper it's order. It's voluntary submission. It's voluntary subordination. It's a recognition that there's a proper order to keep peace in the home. Pastor, thank you so much for that. And thank you guys for tuning in. Just a couple of things I want to remind the church of. Men, we have our men's conference coming up here June 4th. This Sunday is going to be the last day you can purchase your steak breakfast ticket. So I want to encourage you guys to invite a friend and family. Uh, and, and then we have our services on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then we have our Sunday services at 8.30 and 10.45 Great opportunities to invite our friends and family to come on out for that. The Gutierrez brothers will actually be with us tomorrow evening, Wednesday evening. So invite your friends, uh, family and friends for that time of worship. That'd be great. And so uh, thank you, Pastor, on this. Again, on Thursday, we'll draw this out a little bit more. Okay. Uh, and uh, just wanted to give us a little bit of an introduction as we continue our series here on Marriage and the Family. So, Pastor, thank you so much. Church family, thank you so much for tuning in. And God bless you.